Candice Kitchen. Good morning, everyone. First of all, I want to say Happy Navratri to you and family. And today we are making a seven curry. So here I went last night and I prepped most of my stuff to make my seven curry today. So here I have some bhaji, pumpkin. I have some fresh katahar. I didn't have any package one, so I'm using the fresh one, everyone. So hubby last night helped me to cut up this katahar and clean the pumpkin because he had to go to work today. And here I have some riri peppers. I pung up riri peppers, hot peppers, and some some chili peppers. Here I have cut up onions, I have green seasoning, shallot, garlic, I have some brown sugar, which I will be using also for my pumpkin. Here I have my masala paste. I just make like a bowl of masala paste so I can use the same one to do the different dishes. Here I have garam masala, roasted jeera, I have um, curry powder and also turmeric in here. Here I have some dal. Here I have some all-purpose seasoning, adobo, salt, oil, and here I have my coconut milk for my katahar. So everyone, let's start cooking. So everyone, I also forgot to mention that I also will make in some shara curry and aloo or potato, vegan or balanje with some edo curry. And here in my instapot, I have my chana. I put it there to cook for 20 minutes. So once the chana is finished, we will cut up the potatoes also to make the potato curry. So yes, everyone, we are making a Navratri seven curry today. So let's start, join me and let's start cooking, everyone. So here first, everyone, we are making our pumpkin. So here I'm going in with my onions. First, I will fry up my onions. So now that my onions is well sauté up, I will go in with my garlic. I will now add in green seasoning. And this green seasoning have garlic, pepper, shadow benny, um, cayenne, celery, parsley. I like to use my green seasoning, especially when I'm making seven curry. Uh, here everyone, I'm going in with my pumpkin. I'll be going with my salt. And I like to add a little brown sugar to my pumpkin because you bring up the nice sweetness out of the pumpkin so a little bit a drop of brown sugar i will also add some the adobo and some all-purpose seasoning when you're cooking seven curry everyone don't afraid to season up here your food will taste delicious. And let's give this a little turn. It starts to smell delicious in here already. And Seven curry, everyone, we cook when we are having a religious function, a jandy, a wedding, now ratsy time, pago time, or even when you feel like you want to eat some seven curry. This is one of my favorite dishes, seven curry. So if you want to really cover this on slow heat and leave it to cook. We are cooking our dal. I wash my dal really well. Hey 
everyone i went ahead and i washed my split piece and put in here i have some green seasoning some garlic i also have some onion in there uh, now i will go in with some scallion i will also go in with some turmeric for color nice set of turmeric and i will add some curry powder to this And I like to add a little bit of oil to my doll so it doesn't run over the stove. So everyone, now that my doll is started to boil, I will go in with some roasted jeera. I like to add some roasted jeera or cumin seed to my doll. I will also add some lemon peppers. And I will add a little bit of my masala paste, everyone. Not a lot, just a little bit. So I will leave this low to medium and let it cook down. So everyone, you will see in all my dishes, I did not add any of my hot peppers. Um, that's because we have kids in the house and we want little Vianna to eat um, seven curry. She loves seven curry. So I will not add any peppers until of the end when I finish take out her stuff, her food, and then I will add our, then I will add the peppers in the end for us. Take care. Uh, so everyone, let's check in with the pumpkin. Oh, looks all nice and delicious. So you can use the back of your spoon to mash up your pumpkin also. It's optional. So this is looking all good and smells really good, everyone. So now that I take out the end of a share of pumpkin, I will go ahead with my hot peppers, everyone. And I will go ahead with my scallion. I will add some scallion to this. So here you have it. Our fried pumpkin is finished. So now our dal is boiling. So we're going to go ahead and I put the water to cook the rice. So I will go ahead and wash the rice. And then we will cook the bhaji. Everyone, now that my onion is saute up here to make our bhaji. I will also add some coconut milk to my bhaji. I like to add coconut milk to my bhaji, especially seven curry bhaji is optional. And here I have fresh boy bhaji and I have white root bhaji. And I will also add some baby spinach to it. I have some baby spinach here. Uh, Hobby had bought copper pot to make smoothie and we cannot use it out, so I had to freeze them. So here I will add some onion. Uh, I add my onions, I will add some garlic. I will also go in with some green seasoning. I like to add a little bit of green seasoning to all my dishes. I will go in with my bhaji. I will add some salt to this. Some I'll pour for seasoning a little bit. I like to season up my vegetables. I will add some adobo. And here I will go ahead with some frozen spinach. So now I will cover this and I will leave this to cook down a little bit before I start turning it. So stay tuned everyone, once this is finished, we have the rice boiling, we have the dal boiling, the pumpkin is done. So now I will go ahead and start preparing for the katahar. Yeah, now I will go in with some coconut milk to my bhaji. So now I will leave this to cook down. So everyone, now my dal is finished. I will go ahead and chunk it. And if you have something like this, like a dal gotni, 
you can go to your dog or the dog ugly or you can use a hand blender. I'm Guyanese, so I use a dog of me to go to my dog. My garlic and my jeer, frying up here and the oil. is finished to my dog. And here I'm chunking my dog. I'm Guyanese, so I chunk it up. And this is smelling really delicious and looks really flavorful. So everyone, I will go ahead and I will take out some papillana, then I will add my hot peppers to my dog. The dog is still hot, so I will be okay. All my uh, food are cooked, everyone. You will still add my hot peppers to the end. That's because we have kids in the house and we will take out their part first. Stove is still on. Here goes my hot peppers. Um, I will add some scallion to my dog. And here you have it everyone, a beautiful doll. So now we will start straining. Right, everyone right. is finished, so now I will go ahead and I will get this strain. I'm Guyanese and I cook doll and I also chunky my doll. Everyone, we will start cooking our katahar. So I'm going with my onion. Now I will go in with my stock. Some adobo. And some all purpose seasoning. I'll be going with my coffee here. Well, now that my cat hair is bungee in, I will now cover this and leave it to cook. And we will add some hot water to this cat hair because this is fresh cat hair, it's not the one from the pack. So it will take a long time to cook. So we will add some water before adding the coconut milk. Now that our bhaji is finished, looking all nice, now it's been really good. We will add our hot pepper. Also, add some scallion to my baji. The pepper will stay cooking here because the baji is still hot. So now we have baji is finished, dal is finished, rice is finished, pumpkin is finished, cut her is cooking. So now we will go ahead and cut up the I'll just make a chana curry now. I finished cut up my potatoes and I finished boil my chana. So let's go and bungee this chana curry and aloo. So here I will go in with some whole jeera for Cuban. I want this to fry up a little bit and infuse into the oil. Nicely there. I will go ahead with my curry paste. Now that this is cooked, I will go in with my onion. I cut the onion. Everybody comes back on everyone, so this is how I cook for my family.
tablespoon of cream cheese milk. everyone this is turned up nicely now so i will leave it to bonje before we add the hot water to it and this is one of the kids um, favorites um diana and also isabel they love the second curry they like the sun curry and aloo also so everyone i add my water in here so i will cover this and leave this to cook now everyone now that most of the water has gone from the katahar so i will add my coconut milk to it And we will leave this to cook. We are cooking our edo and balanji. Here I go in with some whole jeera. I'm going with some garlic. And Here I also add my salt, my alcohol seasoning and my adobo. And this is going to be very nice now, so I will go ahead with my salad and my olive or potato. We will now add our curry powder, masala jeeva, turmeric. And we will leave this to cook up before we add the alu and bacon. The edo and bacon, I'm sorry. To cook up a little bit before cooking the edo. Everyone, now that I go in with my edo, I'm going to go in with my stock. I will now add some adobo and some also in this thing. So I'm going to leave this to bunch it down for a little more and then add some water. One for oh, China curry and alu is almost finished. I'm going to go in with my hot peppers. I already take out for the kids and then I will go in with some scallion. So now I will turn my stove everyone off. Alu curry and shani is finished. And our bacon and alu or balanji and alu is finished. I add peppers and I will add some scallion. And this is finished here as well. So only the cast of our left. I'm waiting for the cast of to finish. And welcome back to Camden's Kitchen. And today we had made seven curry for Navratri. I want to say happy Navratri to you and family. I also want to say may God bless you all with her nine forms of fasting. Here today I had made rice, bacon curry, and balanje, chana curry and alu, katahar, pumpkin, bhaji, and dal. It looks very really delicious everyone and it tastes and very tasty. Cook your food with love and it will taste very tasty. So I'll thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. I hope everybody stay safe, stay well, and have a great evening, everyone. And have happy Navratri to you and family.